What's up guys, welcome back to another My Hero Academia video. Let's get these things out of the way real quick. If you're new to the channel, welcome, thank you for hanging out here. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, then head down to that like button and smash it for me real quick. Go Taxes Smash, Detroit Smash, or even United Smash on that like button. Whatever you guys are into, it helps the channel a lot. With that being said, today we're going to be talking about day three of guaranteeing Aizawa in the two weeks period. If you guys are not familiar, you can actually get Aizawa for free if you actually fulfill a certain missions, which are um, like finishing, collecting like three class A characters or upgrade class A hero to uh, rank SS, uh, upgrade six heroes to level 80 and upgrade three heroes to level 80 as well. It's just like the same mission. Uh, but you need to like to um, get level 80 heroes and that uh, I feel like that's the most hard one in all of them because the SS you can actually get from uh, the um, the event that they have right now uh, basically if you head over to the uh, intern right there and check the uh, trainee benefits you can actually see that you get a lot of shards from doing this event that they have active right now so I do recommend you uh, doing it if you haven't started yet it's very very simple it's just like related to level leveling up characters, also like growing your characters or doing certain activities. So it's actually very, very important to do is to click on a button, uh, go to and it will show you what you have to do. And uh, why this is important because each time you reach a certain milestone, you're going to be getting a box and that box contains different shards. And that shard is actually going to enable you to level up one character to level SS if you are lucky to get the right shards, of course. So it's, it's a bit RNG based, but it's it's worth uh, doing especially that it's like 270 shards don't recommend you buying this and wasting your hero coins because uh, I did that at the beginning and uh, it's, it's not recommended at all I just like tried out different stuff but um, day three been really really difficult for me because I hit a roadblock basically because if you're in order to like to get the peacekeeping rewards or progress in the story you basically have to reach level 33 I just like leveled to 33 and that wasted all my stamina so I couldn't do anything or farm anything I just like basically did the dailies and everything and um, yeah it, it, I didn't do any of the story which is like quite a bummer which uh, kind of hindered me and set me back in order to like to level up heroes to level 70 or 65 I don't know what's the next level so uh, it kind of set me behind uh, all my characters at recently or uh, currently level 60 unfortunately I couldn't I, I couldn't just um, finish the um, the story like I mentioned so it, it's quite a bummer but um, I do recommend you guys also doing the, the mock contest it was that what it called so basically if you go here to the gift box here you can actually see it right here uh, the mock contest is is really really good I've done it and uh, today I got a box that contains uh, like a lot of shards that enable me to level uh, like um, Uraraka a little bit more of course not right now I'm focusing on the character that is closest to level uh, SS which is like Uraraka as I mentioned in my previous video uh, she's like more than halfway through right now uh, but I started to focus more and more on uh, Todoroki as well uh, because I feel like he's very good character he's just like underwhelmed and he's more difficult to manage than other characters but he's level 60 right now he's an SS that I got from summoning on the um, on the other video I got some cards I summoned I did summon on uh, some cards in order to like to get these which is uh, very very good to level up the battle power I found something that might be a benefit for you guys I don't know if you guys know this but if you head over to character and go to training you basically get a lot of hero coins by doing simple stuff such as like going to, into this training facility where you get to try the characters and train on your combos and uh, get some free stuff as well because uh, based on these uh, kind of um, missions uh, or like kind of small achievements you're going to be getting uh, like hero coins and as well you're gonna be increasing your battle power I'm really really bummed out because um, basically the free to play right now with uh, I don't know if you guys 
I watched my previous video where they just like announced um, All Might, which is very, very quick. To be honest with you, I expected him to be at least a couple of weeks uh, away, uh, especially that we really have a lot of characters right now and the meta for PvP could be this way for a while and then they can actually change it without um, like just rushing it in my opinion. So it's, it could be just me. Uh, a lot of people are probably going to be summoning because it's my, All Might after all but I'm really bummed up because I have to make the choice between Azawa right now and also All Might uh, unless I decide to like to take the uh, the spending route which is I don't know I I'm very tempted right now but I, I I'm I'm trying to hold myself as much as I can so as usual what I did today is actually focus on the, um, the supply uh, this time I actually couldn't do the story but I focus on getting the food if you guys are not familiar the food is very very essential uh, in order to get a Zawa uh, simply because food enable you to level up characters and since you need not one not two uh, six characters to level 80 which is nuts in my opinion I'm waiting to for my uh, stamina to refill a little bit in order to like to do two tries uh, of the food right now because I want to finish it and um, the uh, the extra just try to do the um, the hero trial because um, as I mentioned in my previous video these enable you to get shards and shards equals an SS character you can actually put it on hold um, someone mentioned in the um, in the comment that you can actually uh, place it on hold and um, yeah, this like helps getting your character to level SS, but like I mentioned, tomorrow is going to be different, it's going to be much better because I'm going to be able to level up my characters, probably to level 70, so to tomorrow's video is going to be so good, so make sure you're actually subscribed for that because, um, yeah, the account is going to be different, and maybe if we get lucky, uh, if we do like the, uh, the mock contest long enough, we probably going to be getting probably some shards and get the SS hero out of the way and uh, we're one step further into uh, getting uh, Aizawa. I'm very very excited but as usual I'm very curious of what you guys been up to today. If you guys have been leveling up characters let me know because I'm a curious man and I'd love to hear from you guys. Also I've been spending so much time enjoying myself reading your comments because they've been amazing and uh thank you so much for the support that the channel been receiving lately it's it's really out of the world and uh thank you so much and um hopefully this series is actually gonna end when uh, we get aizawa but uh, i'm going to be making a video on how you can actually increase uh, your battle power uh, like bit by bit um and um yeah hopefully it's gonna be very very helpful so stay tuned for that and uh thank you so much for watching and um yeah comment down below how was uh how was day three of getting a and uh catch you guys in the next one